As you will be very aware, NEF had made some difficult recommendations to government yesterday. I want to take this opportunity to explain the rationale behind our recommendations, to clarify them, and to highlight the key things that we all now need to do to suppress COVID once again. So why did we make the recommendations that we did? Well, first of all, in broad terms, the number of cases that we have now have in Ireland is very substantially more than we were seeing even just a few weeks ago. On average, over the past five days, we've reported 96 new cases each day, and our 14-day incidence now stands at well over 20 per 100,000. While we are still in a relatively good position compared to many countries, our upward growth rate is now the third highest among EU member states. And while there has been a particular focus on Kildare, Leash and Offaly in recent weeks, 11 other counties have a 14-day incidence above 10 per 100,000, including Carlow, Clare, Donegal, Dublin, Kilkenny, Limerick and Louth, Meath, Monaghan, Tipperary and Wexford. Workplace outbreaks have been well documented and the large ones that you know about account for about 360 of the cases reported in recent weeks. Another 40 cases have been linked to the construction sector recently. And as you may be aware, we also had six clusters linked to direct provision in recent weeks, with about 90 cases linked to these. However, these outbreaks are just part of the story. For example, while they account for approximately 500 cases between them, we have had over 1,200 cases reported in the last 14 days alone. So where are the rest of these cases coming from? Well, last week we had approximately 75 clusters in families or extended families. Now this is an entirely normal part of having to deal with a virus, which is as, as infectious as COVID is, but it does highlight the fact that the virus is still out there in our communities. About 3% or 36 cases over the past 14 days have been travel related. Over 200 have been confirmed as community transmission, which is that we don't know where they came from, and a further 200 remain under investigation. We've also seen cases and clusters linked to sporting activities, but of more concern to our public health doctors on the ground have been the number of contacts that have had to be followed up as a consequence of intermingling of different households as a result of socialisation around sporting activity, house parties, other social engagements and car sharing. Based on all of this information, NEF recommended measures with three purposes in mind to limit the number of people that each of us meets, to enhance the application, inspection and enforcement of current measures, and to ensure the rollout of further protective measures. Now I know that there has been a lot of talk and commentary about the measures that were recommended, and many people are confused about what they should be doing. But at the heart of what we want to do is a very simple message. Please limit the number of people that you're meeting up with over the next three weeks. Specifically, Please focus on two key numbers, 6 and 15. Please do not have more than 6 people over to your house or garden. And outside, no more than 15 people should meet up, and even then, people need to physically distance from one another. Please work from home if at all possible. You can still play sport, you can still go to a restaurant and meet your friends and family, but we are asking that you do this in as safe a way as possible. This means that we all have to put a renewed focus on physically distancing from one another, washing our hands, not touching our faces, and wearing a face covering. All of the safe behaviours that have been so successful in helping us to flatten the curve previously. For clarity, we have not recommended that older people or those who are medically vulnerable need to stay in their homes at all times. Rather, given the increased presence of the virus in our communities, we are asking everyone but particularly those who are older or medically vulnerable, to take extra care, to limit your contacts, and if possible, to avoid public transport and shop during designated hours. I know that these measures place a lot of responsibility on each of us as individuals to make choices about how we behave and interact with one another. But this is a collective problem and it requires collective action. Therefore, we also need employers and organisations all across society to step up once again and ensure that the proper measures are in place to create a safe environment for workers, customers and members alike. I know that what is being asked is difficult, especially when people have already given so much over the past six months. I know that for a nation which loves its sport and which loves to socialise, these measures seem incredibly unfair. But we have already shown what we can achieve by working together for the greater good. As we learn to live with this disease, we must continue to strike a balance between enjoying our lives 
and behaving in a way that protects one another. Please stick with us on this journey. Thank you.